If you watched the last episode on the channel, you saw the kids go out for the Mentored Youth Day. That was a Bub's episode. He did really well. Hunter caught a whole bunch of fish, didn't you? Yeah. But this past Saturday, the full trout season came in, and it was windy and cold, so I didn't take him out. We're back up at RB, and we're going to do a frugal fishing episode. So it doesn't take a whole lot of money. The most expensive thing is probably going to be your license in Pennsylvania. Right now it's running right around $40, I believe, is what I paid for a license and a trout stamp. But you can go and get yourself an ugly stick dock runner for less than 20 bucks. If you go out and pick some bait, which I did attempt to do the other night. Now, when I went out, right as dark was hitting in the backyard, there were worms. So I went back in, put boots on me, boots on Hunter, and we went back out with flashlights. And it had chilled down quite a few degrees as soon as the sun dropped down over the horizon. And the worms all went back underground. So if you go out and pick your own bait, you won't have that charge. If you don't pick your own bait, it costs, oh, $4.49 plus tax is what we just paid for a dozen night crawlers. So $40 ish for a license, $15 to $20 for an ugly stick rod that'll do it. A couple bucks for a pack of hooks and you can link into one of my other videos and I'll show you how to tie up a worm harness to fish these night crawlers. You can get out and have a decent time fishing for less than a hundred bucks. And with the price of trout fillets being anywhere from six to ten dollars a pound, it's going to equal out if you go out several times. They're getting skittish up the lake. We're going to come down here and try this pool. A lot of times this gets overlooked. This pool down here doesn't get targeted as hard, so they don't get as skittish. And that's a decent start to dinner. Nice rainbow. Watch, there's hooks there. So we got the two rainbows out of the lower end of the dam up at RB. And then the camera battery died when we were over at Buffalo Run. But I pulled one brown out of there that I hooked and then Hunter reeled in. All in all, not a bad day but I'm thinking beer battered trout tonight for dinner. So let's get them cleaned up. So we're gonna flow these up pretty much the same as always. And if you need a good fillet knife, check out the link below in the description for the Cooking Guild Bushcraft Fillet Knife. Coming right behind the gills, down the spine. 
down along the stomach right behind that fin turn the knife and just ride the spine the whole way down to the tail make sure you got a good grip if you need to if it's too slippy before you grab a wet towel and use that to keep a hold of it once we got the fillet off Take it off the skin. I just sharpened this and I can feel it grabbing. Oh yeah. There might be a little bit of skin left on that. Then the rib cage, you can either go straight down and along it, or if you got a good amount of meat, just fillet the ribs off nice and easy. Don't miss any. Like that. Here's your fillet. Give it a rinse, give it a pat dry. Oops, missed a little bit of skin right there. There we go, that's better. Rinse, pat dry, throw it in the fridge, let it chill down. And then to do these, and then to do these for beer batter, don't use your fillet knife to cut like this. We're gonna cut them down into sections. Little beer batter up nice, so. About like that's what we want. Just nice little portions to take the batter and fry. Just like that. So we're going to get four nice chunks out of one filet. Like I said, rinse it, pat it dry, throw it in the fridge, let it chill down. Okay, I actually waited a few days till I had Bubs back here so that he could have some of this beer battered fish. Now what we're going to do, we got the trout over here. We got a cup of flour in the bowl. We're gonna hit it with some seasoning, some garlic, some onion, yeah, take that. Hit it with a good dose of paprika. A little bit of salt. We're actually going to salt and pepper the fish. Now, when you do this, you can make it like this and beer batter it, or you could do this quick or pancake mix and beer batter that way. We're going to add just a little bit more seasoning into that because that's, that's going to make it nice. Bubby, come! And then to that cup of flour, we're gonna add a cup to a cup and a third of beer. And since it's Pennsylvania, we're gonna use Yingling Lager, nice amber beer, you can use whatever you want. So we got that. We're gonna start out with a cup and see what the consistency is like, and then go from there. Puppy, come! Oh, and an egg. I forgot we need an egg. You I'll don't get, have to add an egg, I'll get the egg. to it, you but it does help bind everything together on the batter. Can you come? Come, Bobby. Okay. Come. Now we're going to do some french fries come. along with this. And I might even do some onion rings or some beer battered mushrooms to go with it, too. I haven't decided yet. Start with a cup of this, and it will foam, so don't worry about that. Just get it nice and incorporated. Now if it's too thin, 
You can add a little more flour to it. If it's too thick. Add a little more beer to it. Get it the consistency you want. It's always a good idea to test fry one first to see how it comes out to see if you want to go thicker or thinner. For the trout, you want to make sure that your trout are dry. And you guys know I don't use paper towels at all. So we're going to throw these right on a washable towel and get them dried off real nice. And we'll stick them on this and hit them with a little salt and pepper to season them. fish going, I'll get some more fries done. Okay, so once they get a nice golden brown and they're floating, and that's actually the perfect consistency for the batter, pull them out, let them drain a time or two, and this is the one time, <coughs> the one time you absolutely want to use a rack because you don't want it to trap heat underneath the fish. It'll make the fish pull away from your batter and then it won't be as good. What? Now the moment of truth. What are those? Pretty good, try that. Daddy, what are all those? It's a little hot, but try it. How you like it? Oh, real good. Is it? Mm -hmm. Should we do it like that again? Huh? Are you want to try it? Are they spicy? No, it's not spicy. Try it. Take a bite. Take a bite. Don't lick it. Take a bite. Why do you not eat? Take a bite. Why not lick it? Take a bite and try the fish. No. Why not? It's not good to. Bite it. Bite a piece off. That's fish. Is it good? Yeah. It's good. Child. Good. Oh, it is good? Yeah. There you go, it's kid approved. I'm gonna get to cooking, finish up these fries and fish, get these kids fed because they're hungry. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Drop anything in the comments that you'd like to see in the future. And we'll see you on the next one.